Below the Model and Layout tabs is the Command window. The Command window lists all the commands we've made in the sequence that we've made them. So it's possible to go back through a series of commands to see exactly what you've done. The bottom line within the command window is known as the command prompt. And I can use the command prompt to type commands in and you'll see that I'm prompted for information like that. Below the command window is the application status bar and this is divided up into three main areas. The first of which is at the left hand end. This is our drawing coordinates readout. You'll notice that as I move my cursor over the drawing area the coordinates change. Effectively what we're seeing here is a dynamic readout of the X, Y and Z coordinates x, y, z. In this example only the x and y coordinates are changing because we're looking at this drawing in plan view and so z remains at zero. To the right of the drawing coordinates are the status toggles for the drafting settings. There are various drafting settings such as snap mode, grid display and polar tracking. And these can all be controlled using these set of icons here. Blue means that the option is turned on. Grey means that the option is turned off. At the right hand end of the application status bar is an area sometimes referred to as the tray it contains a variety of different options and tools. For example, we have the model or paper space toggle button. We have pan and zoom buttons. We have some buttons which relate to uh, annotation. But most importantly for us in our discussion of the AutoCAD user interface is workspace switching because this allows us to control the way the interface looks in one single click. Currently you can see that we're using what's called the 2D drafting and annotation workspace and that gives us an arrangement of panels and tabs on the ribbon that we've already seen. But say we were doing something different with AutoCAD perhaps we're doing some 3D drawing. If that was the case we could switch the workspace to one called 3D modeling. When we do that you'll notice that the whole interface changes. The ribbon changes to show tools which are appropriate for 3D drafting. We get a whole series of different tabs with more 3D tools on here and we also get our tool palettes docked to the right hand side of the application window. All of these tools help us to draw in 3D. We can switch back to 2D drafting and annotation at any time just by using the workspace switcher to restore our workspace to its default state. 